how it goes everybody, my name is Sam Sam, welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound Zero, Earth, or Earthbound Beginnings, or Mother, whatever you want to call it. So, I grinded to about level 7, might have been a bit too much, and got some new PSI spells, PSI Life Up and Healing, I don't think that's all of them, oh dang it. But yeah, and I got some items, just a couple magic herbs, as you see there, they don't add on so don't say let's say like in Final Fantasy you won't say like let's say magic herb do. So let's go to town. And ooh, we got a battle and a snake. I don't remember if I've showed this yet, but these are the easiest enemies in the game and smash. We won Need to get better of not talking in a battle so I can cut them out. And who's this person? Talk. No, oh, what can I do? What should I do? Where can I go? Who can I see? What should I do? What should I do? My little pippy is gone. Hey, if you're going to Podunk, please tell the mayor. Oh me, oh my. One thing, so the run button in this game doesn't actually make you run, it just makes everything go faster, so walk, run, walk, run. Yeah, it's just an interesting thing. Oh, this is a crow, so I guess I'll show it. In the Japanese version, the crows were actually smoking, surprisingly. But they had to take that out, because in America, we can't have that. Yeah. Yeah, simple as that. We win! We didn't... Usually it says you won, in, or in Earthbound, but it says you win here. What does this sign say? Come on, move. Check. Welcome to Podunk. Hey, don't call my town that. Lady. Yeah, screw it. I don't care. So, if you go to this house right here, there's a mouse in here. What does he say? Hee hee hee, I'm Noisy Mouse. There's some buildings you can enter or some you cannot. If the door is round or has a sign on, go inside. The rest of the doors will not open for you. Bye! So, like you said, you can't. You can only go into places that have round door. That one, uh, go down. Yeah, that one has the square door, so we can't go in. Don't tell me you've been south of the cemetery. Yeah, I haven't. Genuinely, yeah. There's a hotel. That's where you can stay and gain your health and magic back. That's where you buy some food. Where that food sign? Yeah. Oh. This is the mayor's office. I'll share a secret with you later. That secret is very stupid. I think all it is is her telling you about where the location of Jackie is. Citizen, I know you would like to help your town. Well, a child straight into the cemetery. And I'm up for re-election soon. You must help me, please. No, oh, you will go and save her. Return to me alive and surely I'll be a hero. Here, I mean, uh... You'll be a hero. Sounds like, uh, Illinois government corrupt. Da -da -da -da. I'm a bot. Uh, is that how you say that? I don't know. Not the town mayor, but his assistant. Mr. Mir, you should be. E Mr. Mir. What's that from? Eh, yeah, let's go to the department store. So let's go over here to the ATM, get our cash card out, use. Can I help you? Yes, withdraw. Yeah, I, they don't, the bet only cost uh, $500, but yeah, I got a lot. And if you die in this game, or get a game over, that it'll take half of the money you have. So let's say I have $100, the game will take 50 Talk, welcome, what can I sell you? Uh, I want a wooden mat. I mean, a wooden mat, yeah. Thank you very much, please visit us again. Do you want anything else? Nope. Thank you very much. And just like before, goods, wooden bats, use same equipment, the wooden bat. <laughs> and food. Let's see what you got. Welcome. What can I sell you? Oh. Uh, let's get some let's get a, a sports drink. Yeah, and maybe some juice. We need juice. Yes. No, nope, don't need anything else. Thank you. So, and on top floor, I'm pretty sure it's a pet store? Come on. Yeah. 
Cock, look for yourself. All the animals have escaped. Only the canary chicks up. Do you want to buy it? No. Okay, kid. It's a free country, you know. So that's very important. You need to come back here later. Oh, yeah. Let's go to the bottom floor. Wait, we could probably buy some life up cream. Okay, what can I sell you? Yeah, life up cream. Basically, um. Yes. Thank you very much. The life of cream basically makes your heals you for a hundred, like completely. Yeah, let's talk to her. So, how may I help you? Do you have something to return? Yes. Which one? Uh, the plastic bat I bought from you guys. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Is that not? Yes. Thank you for shopping with us today. And see that white telephone over there? If it's a white phone like that one, you have to pay a dollar to use it. And if it's a black one, like at your house, you don't have to pay anything. So, um. Load, please. So, like that one lady said, we need to go find Pippi, which is based off Pippi Longstockings and this old fairy tale. And we have Wally. I don't know why, but a lot of people say that this guy's really hard. I don't really see it. See, see what I'm talking about? So, yeah, there's no armor you can buy in this game. Yeah, I guess I'll fight this guy. And we got the hippie. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. See, I'm good. I'm good at pausing before I enter a battle. And... Jesus Christ, I took one step. And... I got an encounter. Man, all hope ye who enter. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? I keep taking one step and having to enter... Entering another battle. You know what? I'm not gonna fucking enter, exit this out. Why, why is the counter rate so high? What the hell? Jesus criminy. Oh my god. Okay, well, now I'll just go south. Oh, we have a new uh, battle. Mr. Bat. So, yeah. Let's fight you, B. So these guys are pretty simple. And. One thing, think about the circumstance, Mr. Bat lost all senses, Jesus Christ. That basically means he's confused. Uh, which one was that, C? And, if you get a smash on an enemy, which is basically a critical hit, like the outline of it, will be like the color, or a color of one enemy, so in this case it would probably be either purple or white, if I smashed him. And well, usually if you smash an enemy, the enemy will smash you afterwards, and vice versa. Anyone? Oh, I thought the scary music started. Yeah, and we have a pseudo zombie. So this is guys I told you to watch out for at the um, city. They had blue clothes and yellow, whatever. I killed all of them to get some expanse. Um, yeah, you have to be very careful when you fight them at a low level because they will kill you. And we're at the cemetery. Ooh, spooky scary. Let's go to the church here. Well, hi. I'd like to stop the zombies' evil ways, but, um, they don't listen to me or won't even talk to me. Now I'm too scared to leave this place. Well, that sounds like a personal problem. And, yeah, I'm on. And so what you have to do is just go east or eat. Yeah, that's east. And we have a gang zombie. Gang zombie, in the Japanese version, instead of him wearing a tie there, he has like blood stains like he got shot. And yeah. I forgot to mention on the pseudo zombie, it's they like can't have the E in it because the name's too long, so it ends up being pseudo zombie or something, something like that. So you just come up here. And I'm not gonna edit this one out. And we have another one. Was, we, they give good experience. And I understand games that show you how much experience you have. I would wish it would show you how much you needed. So, yeah. And pretty straightforward. Lulu, he turned to dust. Anyone? No. Dust. And another pseudo zombie. Why is the counter rate so high? My god. Goodness gracious. I don't know. 
I'm gonna press B, but alright. Suffer damage to 27. Yeah, these battles kinda get boring after a while. And that was another pseudo zombie. Um, that'd be. Where's the place? And we come down here. Ooh, spooky. That was a gang zombie. And some, one thing you can do, so in the game, it has like. So when you enter a battle or open your screen, it generates a number, I think it's like 1 to 99. And that number of picks is how many steps you have to take before you enter in a random encounter. And if you open it, if you walk like let's say five steps and open up your menu, then it'll regenerate that number. So some people like to speed run it will just keep opening their menu after like every one or three steps so they won't hit an encounter. So yeah, and I gained an extra level in that battle, so yeah. And I don't remember which one has Pippi in it, but I guess we'll just pick any other one. And we have another pseudo on by. Damage of 30. Man, we are so strong right now. Uh, yeah, they all shake. It's not just that one. Same with Pride Out the Lin. Out of the casket came a pseudo zombie. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da. Why are there so many zombies in the city? I mean, I mean, like. Did some we have just like a huge death epidemic? How many people died in the 80s? Pride open lid out of the casket came a another zombie. Ugh. Yeah, these battles can be a bit tedious after a while. Well that sense it's kinda like I mean it's not random, but whatever. I think that one has Pippi in it, so we want to go to the next one. But we have another pseudo zombie. So, yeah. I guess I'll end the episode when we get Pippi or walk out of the place because we're only at 13 minutes. Check, and we probably have out of the casket. Oh, this is her. Oh. Hi, I'm Pippi. I'm lost. Oh, what a brave boy you have. I'm not brave. What are you talking about? You're brave. I hope we can meet sometime again. Yeah, okay. I'm so happy to show you my gratitude. Take my gift. This is a shiny badge. I will guard you. Now let's go back to town. So what she... Wait, no, no, no. I don't, I don't want to leave. Tanya, please go first. I'm so afraid. Fine. But what she gave us was the Franklin badge. And... Nothing happened. So the Franklin badge will block uh, a PK beam roll, and that's just an instant death attack, basically. And there's two of these, and to get it, you have to say no, then yes. And then if you go to her house and, and you, or if you didn't do this and go to her house and ask her again, she'll give you it. So let's check this. Try to open it. Out of the casket came a zombie. So, the reason why I want to fight this first is because Pippi will gain half your experience, and I don't like that. Don't kill her. So, yeah. And Pippi's not a permanent member in your party. So, yeah, it's kind of stupid to have her. So, yeah. And since we got that, let's leave. And that was a, um, bat. That was a bat. Or not about a zombie, and Pippi almost died, but I'm, I'm kind of like wanting to have her die, but I never had it happen, so I don't want to have to like go to the hospital or anything. So yeah, and Pippi leveled up to level two, and now we got to find our way out of here. And what is this bat? Pippi could probably take these guys out, and yeah. So let's have Sam go you, and Pippi go you. Suffered damage of 33. Sock so happy. See, Pippi gets pretty strong after a while. There's some, there's some video I watched where I think someone actually beat the game as Pippi. And of course, you have to go and get her first, but she basically killed off uh, Nintendo and just kept. went throughout the game without just her. It was kind of crazy. Not crazy. 
So, come on, move around it. That was a gang zombie, and Pippi got a smash on him, and she leveled up too. That was another three bats, and that was really it. Come on, let's let's do we get out of here without another random encounter. Hate. I think everyone hates random encounters. And so, yeah, we're finally out of that hell hole. So, in the next episode, we will bring Pippi back to her mother and tell the mayor that we did good for our grand old city of Podunk. So, till next time, my homebrew, stay awesome, and just have a wonderful day. Goodbye.